Hi, I'm Keith Davenport with the Public Information Office for Johnson County Government. This week we are celebrating the launch of a new easy sign up feature for Notify Joco. That's our notification system for emergency and public service announcements across the county. Uh, you can now just text Notify Joco, all one word, to 888 777 to sign up for the free service. And then go online to www.notifyjoco.org to customize your locations and your notification settings. Notify Joko is actually a partnership that the, the county has with Water One and other cities around the county. Uh, today, we are with Sarah uh, in MedAct to learn about another partnership we have. So, uh, Sarah, can you tell us a little bit about how MedAct partners with the other cities around the county? Absolutely. So, for those who don't know, MedAct is actually the county's uh, ambulance service. We service only Johnson County. We are occasionally called into other counties uh, as mutual aid, as a lot of the fire uh, side is. You typically have an ambulance in every city within the county. Uh, Northwest Consolidated is um, uh, out in DeSoto, and you have Consolidated Fire District Number Two. So we really stretch kind of the the county line, the county line. Um, we're an overall county-based ambulance service, so there is no city-based ambulance service. We do have a really unique partnership with Overland Park right now going on, uh, which has afforded us a lot of, of benefits yeah. and a lot of help in that. Um, and right now, we just partner with the fire stations by being in them. They give us some space. So there's a very few standalone ambulance services. And what that, or same ambulance stations, sorry, uh, is what that helps us do is kind of really get a good working connection with fire services yeah. and the citizens. Um, and then we also partner with police as well. They come on a lot of our calls. So uh, we know a lot of them by name. Um, they know us, they know our capabilities, and there are our watchdogs out there. And a lot of times, they're our first responders. They do a great job. Um, we do a lot of training with them, okay. as well as a lot of training uh, for their first response kind of stuff with the AEDs and their CPR and stuff like that because they are so much more mobile than we are because yeah. uh, they rode. Yeah. So it's, it's really great. We've got a great working environment with Johnson County, and, and it's just been, it's been a really great yeah. thing for the last 40 years. So having Medic being the only ambulance service across the county, what's the benefit to Johnson County residents? With that's a really good fact. question. So we're actually kind of a really unique service, and we actually have our own uh, emergency medical director. And what that provides us is we have unity across the entire county. So there's one medical director that kind of makes the decisions for everybody. Okay. And right now that does include Overly Park because we're a partnership with them. But what that affords you is a really, really constant, consistent care. You get the same care from, you know, dawn until dusk, 365, yeah. you know, 24-7, 365. As long as you have a medic, paramedic on that bus, which you always will, you're going to get that that same care. Yeah, that's great. So here we have one of the medic ambulances. Two. I have uh, fortunately never been inside an ambulance before. So can you give me a little bit of a tour? Well, me neither. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, sometimes we have to say, okay, what's going to be best for the patient to keep them calm, like I really need yeah. them to be, you know, is to say, hey, why don't you run up front? Yeah. <laughs> you know, right in, buckle in. Uh, and you can see our, our ambulances have cameras. Oh, okay. Uh, so you yeah. can actually see up front everything that's There's going on a in little back. There's uh, a little camera that right here that points to the whole, whole back. It does. Uh, and the thing that this helps us with is not only the driver can see when they're up, um, our trucks are really loud, so you can't really hear, you hear a lot of road noise, Yeah, <laughs> a sure. lot of bouncing, but I can't necessarily hear if Allison's yelling at me, hey, something's happening, or something like that, so that affords me a really good view of what's going on, sure. and, and what she's doing, um, you know, just to kind of temper what we need to do as yeah. far as driving and things like that. Okay. Um, so these cots are actually snapped in underneath the antlers here. This prevents them from coming loose in case we do roll over. We are a vehicle, so it does happen. Sure. Um, Thankfully, not as often. <laughs> yeah. Not often. 
Um, the next thing we have, you'll see it's kind of like a little mobile hospital. Anything that we really need is provided for us. Okay. Uh, so obviously gloves, we wear these on every call, every yeah, time. Yeah. Um, this is our capability of calling the hospital. So every okay. hospital in the area that we could transport to is actually programmed into here. So we can talk to them, they can talk to us. And what that gives us is if we have a specific thing that maybe we need to do but we're you know, we're maxed out on how much medication we can give them. Or, hey, give us this other thing to try outside of our normal protocols. We can sure. call for a doctor and they can say, why don't you try this instead? Okay. Clearly this isn't working. Yeah. So we can do what's called online medical direction. Okay. So we have a, a really great system in place where, you know, if, if the stuff that we have isn't working that's set for us, they say, try this instead. Okay. So, I mean, you really get the best possible care that way. Right, you have a yeah. ton of mind working on it, right? Um, we have this really simple bandaging equipment, so irrigation stuff. This is just regular saline and sterile water. Okay. Um, we have, uh, <laughs> it looks like Reynolds Wrap. It has Reynolds Wrap on it. It's actually excellent for burns. Oh, the, okay. Right, it's plastic wrap. It looks yeah. kind of strange, but it is sterile. And what we do is basically we can wrap up that burn and it stops the air from getting oh, to those exposed wow. nerves. Yeah. And it will stop, help stop the pain. Ice packs, um, these are called multi-trauma dressings. They hold a lot of fluid. <laughs> Whatever that fluid may be. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, and in this cabinet, we have all of our uh, medications, and that does include our narcotics. Our narcotics are 24 7 under lock and key. Wow. Yeah. Okay. We actually Makes have sense. to have an ID to get those in. Okay. Um, you guys know about the, the really big epidemic with that going on right, right. now across the country. Um, so, this is all of our medications, and we have things in here. Oops, as I knock things over, this is why. Uh, so we have all things in here like Epi, or cardiac code okay. drugs, um, that fun little thing that everyone's hearing about, Narcan, okay, that is uh, specifically for an opioid overdose, okay, okay. Uh, and we have all sorts of things. We have things that will slow down your heart if it's going too fast, we have things that will speed up your heart if it's going too slow, Sure. okay, so uh, we're really, really fortunate in Johnson County that we have a ton of science-based stuff. Um, and that we can change on the fly. If it's not working, we can tell our medical director, this is not working. And he will simply say, okay, let's do a little bit more research into this. All right, let's try this instead. Yeah, I mean, it, I'm sure that's great to have oh, it's that fantastic. real time it, support yes, all the, all the time. Yes, because if it doesn't work, you know, it, it's gotta work. And that's the biggest thing is it's gotta work and it's gotta work for what we need it to work for. Um, so all of our medications, asthma, anaphylaxis, we have stuff for if your heart's not beating correctly, um, obviously, the big one everyone's really familiar with is just the simple IV fluid sure. bag, <laughs> okay? And we do carry quite a bit of that on our ambulances. Um, we do have a uh, really awesome thing next door to this ambulance. It's called Support Services, where we literally have, you know, shelves and shelves of these things. Yeah. Um, it's really unique in the fact that we can send these orders in, and then they come every day. I mean, every day we're getting new restock yeah. and stuff like that. So we're really fortunate in that sense um, because we, we typically always have it. Uh, in this cabinet, we have all of our IV equipment, uh, and then just your really simple stuff. We've got, you know, a glucometer, a thermometer, do use those a lot. Yeah, okay. of course. Uh, a manual blood pressure cuff. We do have an automatic blood pressure cuff for what's called a non-invasive blood pressure on our monitor. Um, but sometimes when you're bouncing down the road or the patient's moving a lot, it's really That's easy really to, yeah. yeah, it's really easy to kind of trick it. So always go with the old reliable. Uh, and then we just have a few other things like just the IV supplies, some non-sterile 4 by 4 just wiping up little bits of blood or runny noses or stuff like that. Um, this is typically our bandaging cabinet and one of the things that's really cool about our trucks is um, they are, with the exception of our new ones, and all of our new ones are the same, that all of our trucks have the same basic space for the stuff. Okay, I was just going to ask yes, that question. Yes, absolutely. So. so it's actually really important, and you wouldn't think that that would throw you off as much as it does when you open up a drawer, you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like in your in your kitchen, if somebody absolutely, puts the silverware yes, in the wrong yes. drawer or something, it's, it's hard to find, so I'm sure that that yes, saves it, you a lot of time. It's really great because everything that I really need to, to care for a patient is within arm's reach. So the neat thing about this is um, I can stay buckled in. Oh, if wow. I have to get up, yeah. I have to get up, you know, yeah. that's just kind of part of it. But the really great part about this is for the most part, I, this ambulance and most of our ambulances, you can stay buckled in, which sure. keeps the patient safer, yeah. keeps you safer. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously there are circumstances that mitigate that, but right. um, coming back here, this is what we'll take in on every call. We do have an outside door uh, to this, and this is just our patient care compartment, so all of our portables. And we will take these in on every call. Okay. So everything that we have in here 
is in there. So when you go out on a call, how many uh, paramedics are usually on an ambulance when you... So Medac is really unique in the fact that they will always have two paramedics on the truck. Okay. Uh, and what that does is it kind of lets us bounce ideas off of each other. Is that in addition to the driver or including the nope, driver? Nope, that is, that is the driver. So okay. we will alternate calls. Okay. Um, should for some reason we need a, a driver or somebody in the back, oftentimes we'll have a, a fire crew drive us in. Um, and a lot of the firefighters are paramedics in this county too. So sure. it's a really kind of a cool thing. We work yeah. with them a lot. Um, they're in what's called an ALS service, so they can provide that care until we get there. Okay. There are so many more of them than us, and yeah. we, have, we are so fortunate. We have some phenomenal fire, fire yeah, paramedics and great. fire EMTs in this county. Um, they can either, they take the option, we can let them stay back here and work with the patient and work with the other medic and, you know, I'll drive, or they'll say, I'll drive and you stay back here. Sure. Whichever works. You know, yeah. we, they're, they're super flexible and they really, they really help us out a ton, so it affords us the ability to give some really good care yeah. on the way to the hospital. Um, so yeah, two paramedics, you get to bounce ideas off of each other and, and hey, what did I miss? You know, is there something that I'm not thinking of? Mm. You know, so it, it really works exceptionally well. Yeah, you were, you were telling me a little bit before we went live that uh, you are assigned a partner for uh -huh. se several months in a row. What's the benefit of getting to know and being comfortable with the same person in that uh, crisis situation? You know, you know how you start to know how they think. You start to know how they, they go through things and their yeah. progression through things and you're like, oh, you know, I can I can look at my partner and go, are you thinking this? Yes, I'm thinking this. You know, when I really get to know them, like, yeah. okay, you're on that same page. And um, and that's also the benefit of being trained the way we are, is we're mm. all trained the same way. Yeah. We may have different backgrounds and come in from different places, sure. but we're all trained in the same way. And that really helps us um, kind of unify our care and kind of know where, you know, each other's going. And when you really get that trust level, um, like you'll have with a partner, you can you can talk anything out. Yeah. You know, you're like, man, I really kind of feel like I'm missing something here. Like, are you seeing something that I'm just missing? Mm. You know, they may have more experience than I do. Sure. You know, I've been doing this for 10 years. We've got people that were doing this for 35. Wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's 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 like the Noah of MedAct. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> show me what I need to yeah. know, sir. Yeah. You know, so it's it's great. You learn from their experience. They can learn something from you. Yeah. And it's just it's 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 awesome. That's great. It's great. So what do we have over Whoa, hello. Here? Surprise. Sorry. Timed out. <laughs> uh, so this is all the stuff that we're going to go into yeah. every call. And like I said, all of these are set up pretty much the same way. So these are considered airway cabinets. Uh, so you can see this is labeled pediatric oxygen stuff because while we do not do it very often, thank God, uh, we do have to sometimes work on peds. Yeah. Okay? Um, so we have pediatric airway stuff. We have CPAP. And that CPAP is just really similar to what you have at home, what you might have at home. Um, we just use it on the truck. So those nighttime sleepers that maybe have sleep sure. apnea, they wear BiPAP okay. or CPAP, same thing. Okay. We can adjust the flow rate and we can adjust the oxygen that they get, which helps us kind of push that fluid out of their lungs. Um, we do have, as flu season approaches, and as, oh, I shouldn't say approaches, is in full swing right now, Yeah. Uh, we do have multiple layers of protection that we can use. Okay. Um, and a lot of us will be wearing these throughout flu season. Sure. Uh, it's, no, it's nothing against them, but we're constantly exposed yeah. to all of that stuff. And while we may not get sick because we're constantly exposed to it, we may pass it on to somebody else. Right. So we always want to wear that mask. Um, these are nebulizer kits. So those with asthma or okay. if they're having difficulty breathing, COPD, anaphylaxis, something like that. So obviously they're all just like you find in an inhaler. Yeah, okay. This is just a fancy one. Yeah, sure. Okay. And then uh, we just have some more kind of small airways. These are really basic airways or airway adjuncts as we call them. They're, mm. uh, they go above the, um, the vocal cords. So they just kind of okay. sit and open that airway up a little bit better for us. And they're less invasive than having to put a tube down somewhere. Right, throat. yeah. So uh, <laughs> pretty standard nasal cannula. Everyone's familiar with that, the one that you see. Oh, uh, yeah. And, and All you, movies. Oh, and, yeah. yeah. And you always see a medic go crazy and you'll know what's wrong when, <laughs> when you see someone just go, <laughs> uh, Google, just Google it. <laughs> Suction supplies uh, for just kind of the occasional ickiness. It does happen, vomiting and stuff like that. So we can just kind of suction it out, secure that airway. Um, we have monitor equipment. So all of our electrodes and things, you see those patches that go across right. people's yep. chest. That's, that's a real okay. thing. We have all that right there, uh, including some razors, because uh, we do have to make those stick. So right. sometimes we do have to shave a chest every now and again. We do our best to <laughs> not make it that traumatic. Um, and then fairly new to us, 
is actually a um, PBT. I don't have one in here right now, unfortunately. It's a breathalyzer, and it's a new protocol that we can do to take people to um, the more psychiatric-based hospitals like Hollywood mm. and Rainbow, as long as they do not have a, a blood alcohol level higher uh, than a certain number. So okay. that's kind of a new initiative to really focus people into where they truly need yeah, to get the best help care. at. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's been it's been pretty um, a pretty good thing so far. Yeah. It's been, it's been working pretty well. Yeah. Um, underneath here, we've got storage everywhere if you haven't figured this out. <laughs> I, I mean, it's have to. I know, we really do. We're, we're, the, we're the original nook and cranny people. Uh, we have stuffed animals. So we have uh, a really cool yeah. thing. It's called the Shadow Buddies Foundation. Hmm. Uh, and we, these are, I think, just animals. I don't think we have a, I don't think we have a shadow buddy, but we can give these to kids when they're scared. Yeah. You know? Um, and it's, it's kind of a piece of, of normalcy. You right. know, most kids have a stuffed animal or a whoopee or a blanket. Yeah. It's something that puts them in a more comfortable environment, you know, when they're already right. faced with strangers and they're already, you know, in the back of an ambulance. They don't know what that is. You yeah. know, kids aren't dumb. Um, I know we were um, talking, talking a little bit earlier about how you all get to see people really on the worst day or the worst time. I do know that Medic does a lot of outreach going to do. different community do. events, different church events, uh, just giving families the opportunity to get inside an ambulance uh, mm -hmm. when it's not in a crisis situation. Yes. Uh, um, <laughs> I would imagine that really helps people just feel a little bit less afraid when they see you show up to know you're on their side, that this place is an okay place, it's a right. safe place, and that you're there to help. It really does. And, you know, we, we, we love getting, you know, the little kids interested, and we love getting people interested. Yeah. Um, we've, it, you know, in the selfie revolution, as we always laugh about <laughs> it, you know, we've been doing so much of that with kids, yeah. and, you know, uh, sending them in and you know anytime we see a kiddo that's kind of looking at us like sideways because you know We're in uniform right. and big truck. You want to come over you want to see yeah. um, And our PIO does an excellent job. We have a PR packet that was in every truck mm -hmm. and it's just got really simple things of you know pens and pencils yeah. and coloring books and yeah. band-aids and um, And they love that stuff. Sure. You know we, we show them around let them listen through stethoscopes and stuff like that And it really does show them that you don't have to be afraid. Yeah Yes, we're loud, and yes, you know, there's a lot of us, and, and it's great big and, and moves fast. But, you know, you really don't have to be afraid. Yeah, yeah, that's so great. So we, we, love, we love showing out our ambulances mm -hmm. and, and, and helping helping people kind of realize what it is we do. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Um, i trying to think if there's anything I haven't shown you. Oh, uh, let's see what's in this drawer. So, uh, because, obviously, we run more than one patient. We don't just run one call and we're done for the day. Right. Uh, we do have ways of cleaning our ambulances, mm -hmm. and we, we really focus on that. So we have your standard biohazard bags. Um, we have these are called chuck pads. We can put them down just in case you know someone is really wet or something like that. It's less for us to have to clean. Sure. But it also stay you know keeps sanitary and helps keep that going. Yeah. Yeah. Um, more masks. This is just an isolation kit, and they are found in every truck. More masks, gloves, stuff like that. And the benefit to this is if we've got say an exposure to some random ick right go, hey let's get this out and we'll pass it out to everybody on scene yeah and uh it, it just stays nice and concealed that way and nice and, and ready to go yeah um so you can see we have blankets there and in cabinet 11 down at your feet we have blankets and towels as well okay because we don't always run in the best weather <laughs> right yeah <laughs> so we uh we tend to make burritos of people a lot sure um and then last but not least in this cabinet as you can see is is the cleaning supplies and ob kits personal goal of mine is to deliver a child in the field. Um, I think that's just probably about the pinnacle of anything. I think yeah, that's the coolest I, yeah. triage ever, you know, triage two green after uh, having to triage one. So that's amazing. And then we have new to us in the last couple of years, what's called an ambulance child restraint system or an ACR. Hmm. It is a weight based system. And basically what this affords us is a really, really safe way to transfer pediatrics on our cot. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Because the, uh, car seats aren't necessarily made for our cot, right? right? They're made yeah. in something that goes up and down, uh, more like that seat sure. that effect. But these actually clip to our cot. They're made specifically for an ambulance cot. And since they are weight-based, just like car seats, yeah. they're sized. Okay. Uh, and so it really affords us a lot of safety for those tiny yeah. tots because they are, they are tiny. They, they right. move around a lot. Yeah. So this is new to us for okay. the last couple of years, um, and it's extremely beneficial. Yeah. We actually have along that vein, in this particular ambulance, this will pull down. We actually have a child safety seat. Okay. Okay. Uh, and we do often take when you know parents are, are injured. We do sometimes have to take kids to the hospital. Right. Um, and you know we're not just an ambulance service in the sense that we're going to take you to the hospital when you're hurt. If if you've got to go somewhere or you know 
um, we got to take your kids with us or uh, something like that. A lot of times we'll take them with us. We'll find someone to come, you know, bring them with us. Our battalion chiefs are really great about that. Yeah. Um, so honestly, when it's really a community ambulance for, for the community, for the people, yeah. we're here for you and we're going to do what we can. Um, and we have a lot of excellent people that work in this organization. So, I mean, they make it amazing. So it's been, it's been a great time. Yeah. That's great. Um, I this has been so interesting just to see all of the equipment and supplies you have in here ready ready to do a lot of things. Yep, and, we're ready. Um, <laughs> it's uh, really neat also to learn just about the partnerships with the fire departments and other emergency services in the county too. Yep. So thanks a lot, Sarah, for no giving us a tour here. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, so notify Joko uh, next week is Severe Weather Awareness Week, so we're doing a big test on Tuesday, March sixth, and we would like for you to receive that test. So make sure you text. Notify Joko, all one word, to 888-777 to get signed up for that service. Thank you, and have a great weekend.